Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on House Flipper where in the previous episode we were once again working in the bunker sorting out ironically the sleeping arrangements and bunk beds however there's also been some changes made since that last episode so for example I've added a lot more literature in the property so books on the bookshelf because that's normally where you place it the clues in the title also a cookbook in the kitchen a I think that's a is that a cocktail making book on the coffee table? Yes it is. Over into the study slash game room slash art creativity area we have a book on European castles and a novel about cats. We also have a DVD player, a clock on the wall and also if I jump on top of this we can see we now have an RGB monitor. So the two monitors that I had there is being replaced with an ultra wide monitor which I'm not personally a fan of that form factor but there you are and we now have a full complete as far as I can tell RGB setup. However sadly the only way you can see the RGBs is if you turn the monitor around which is normally against what you usually use a monitor for or you are peeking in through the window so almost like every other RGB setup it's pretty much redundant <laughs> I'm not a big fan Anyway, downstairs we also have a painting on the wall, mainly just to break up the sort of slab area there. I've added in a clock, some more supplies, not just on this shelf but also back here. So if you drop a match there, the whole house will go up. In here I think I've moved a couple of things around and similarly one or two changes made in here as well. Still not too sure whether I want to keep that, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Either way, the only room in the property now to have really no attention from us apart from maybe the bit of plastering is in the bedroom in here and we can see we have well all of these walls to do the flooring and obviously the furnishings however we're not going to touch that in this episode I think it would be a bit remiss of me to not really look at the garden because obviously we've cleaned it up got all of the weeds removed and trimmed the grass however it is very very bare so we want to put some more stuff in now I'm not going to go overboard with the garden it's not something I wanted to really focus on so what I want to do is there's a tiny bit of grass there I think which is going to get cut there we go and uh, what I want to do is sort of liberally add some things around here so for example we need something around to sort of disguise this because it's fairly ugly maybe some vines on the house some more bedding plants around there and maybe even a raised decking area because as everybody knows who've seen ground force you need decking <laughs> Ground Force. Ground Force, the TV show limited to the UK only that it's not been on in a decade. Yeah, that's very regional and me speaking to the younger audience there. Anyway, so I'm not going to go overboard with the garden, as I said. Pretty much the front here is... I think it's sorted. I don't really need to make much adjustment here and I'm not going to have things like a climbing frame or uh, swings or anything like that. I do want a tool shed and maybe a gazebo and a raised area but was, as always, we'll see how we get on. One of the things that did come to mind, I originally said around here that we could place some seating areas but if I go over to, because I've been looking, to here we've got these gazebos and I think if we place this gazebo in we might be able to disguise it. So for example if I open this up I can see that the ladder is ladder is there, okay so I need to make sure that if I rotate this around, yeah the main entrance is here. I'm going to stand at the top, place it and hopefully I'll be able to get in that but the gazebo will be around so I'll just place all of these bits in so obviously all the metal work needs to be assembled there. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any fixings so yeah, we'll have to get the, the welder out. And there is our gazebo. So it sort of covers that a little bit. And if we put some plants around it, it would look quite good. But, oh yeah, that's a problem. We can't actually get in. Um, you can see that I'm not actually able to get into that because of the height of the gazebo. I won't be able to get in. Um, oh, that's a crying shame because that was pretty good. You know what I might be able to do though? It's not going to look as good, but it might function. And obviously, I think uh, the functional bit is the main purpose here is instead of placing it right in the center if I pull it a little bit further back like that ever so slightly not too much it will be off center when you look at it but I'm hoping that yeah if we do it like that we'll be able to get away with hiding this thing but still be able to use it which obviously if we can't get out of the emergency exit slash entrance it's fairly useless as that and no sadly not it's just a straight uh, height problem there we just can't get up there so that's that's a shame that is something I really wanted to try and was very looking forward to using that but there you are oh should we check out the rgb while we're here cool turn it off power saving <laughs> yeah that neighbor next door constantly turns off that rgb okay so we're very limited then 
in what we can do. So I think it's going to be architecture. We're going to go down and see... Well, we can't use that gazebo because it's got a flat bottom. Uh, these we could potentially use. I mean, we could place it like... Let's just place it once again in the center. I don't know what this is. Some sort of... Uh, is it like a metal... Yeah, it's like a metal uh, roof thing with glass. Oh, yeah. We've got some returning bolts on. And I would have thought the... I would have thought we'd have put the screws on the inside. Uh, that covers that up. And we can still very much use it. The question is, do I want it like that? Um, you know, I think that just draws more attention to it than anything else because we can't really cover it in plants. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and hide it in plain sight. I tried that, it didn't work. Um, you don't know until you know. So let's go over to furniture and to sofas and we're gonna go down and get some of these big sofas here we've got the sammy sofa and no oh, this is a double sammy sofa and let's change it to probably a quite light color and we can see we can change the pattern there i actually quite like that that sort of pattern there i think we're gonna go away from these just you know really bland tones that one i quite like the look of for some reason um, the actual colour though, I'm going to go with probably a dark grey, actually light grey, because that will be about the same colour as this concrete. That's what I'll try and match it up with actually. So white wouldn't be that. Coffee maybe? Um, coffee so far is the closest to that concrete. Um, what about maybe brown coffee? That is, that is too towards that colour palette. Yeah, so we're going to go with this one. Grey coffee and the classic, which is pretty much like your nan has. So <laughs> let's place this in here. So what I'm going to do is try and sort of get it so it's in the center. I'm just putting the sort of where those cushions meet to maybe go and meet up with that corner. And then I want to go like a certain number of steps up. Um, and I'll put them in all these on all these sides. So we'll place it there right up against it And I'm looking on the bottom left. You can see it just clips On either side. So what hang on one two three five, Start there. So that's just clipping in there Yeah, just clipping on the left and right so it's what one two three four five So you know what No, let's just just do it by eye About there. Let's just do it by eye um, there, and obviously I'll move these as well, as and when needed, like that. Okay, so the seating doesn't entirely go around it, but you know what? I'm happy with that. Um, the seat, the seating is going to have to move a little bit, a little bit further out. You see, it doesn't exactly follow the contours exactly. To the to the bunker bit, but there you go. And see from from the outside, it just looks like that's a, a raised like table or almost a fire pit. But we can get around there, and I think they are about equidistant. That is that's fine. That's what I was aiming for. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe put some lighting in. Um, light. Let's have a look. Oh, we don't have any. Do we have any outdoor lighting? Is the question. Architecture is garden stairs and construction. Fences. I was going to perhaps fence it off, but no. Furniture. Umbrellas. I mean, having a... Oh, that would be really good, actually. Having, like, a big umbrella over the top. Do we have a classic one? We don't, really. None of these are very good. How big is it for a startup? Oh, it's 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 as about as large as I was expecting. Um, yeah, same problem as the gazebo. Sell, sell. Right, some lighting around there would be nice. Armchairs, benches, chairs, sofas, sun chairs, sun chairs. Hmm, tables. No. Umbrellas, no. And... Other. Garden sprinkler. I wonder if that works, actually. A composting, wooden composter. 
garden sprinkler. Does it functional? It do does it functional? <laughs> that's how words are. Yeah, that's a word. Does it functional? Um. Yeah, I mean we can place a sprinkler there if we really wanted to. Hmm. I'm not entirely against that, but it's not what I wanted. Let's go over to all and then to um, where would it be? Lamps standing, and I need something that looks like it could potentially be used outside. Whereas none of those are. <laughs> they wouldn't have that outside, or these ones certainly. I thought I would have thought that there'd been some. I mean that that is obviously an outside lamp. Uh, outside light and can we actually place it outside we can place it outside if we wanted to um, while we're here one there I think I'll place one in here as well because why not there we are can we turn it on no okay maybe we have to have a light switch outside but it's just for you know an aesthetic touch really so, don't think we can place some lights around there. Back over to garden then, and we've checked out other. There's a tool shed. I think we are going to place a tool shed in, and probably just go for the standard orc. Although it doesn't really look very nice, although the rest looks fairly terrible as well. That's not bad. Let's say for the tool shed. Where's the tool shed going to go? For a start, where's the front? Um, I'm going to guess that's the front. I want to just sort of place it out of the way. Mm. Could place it there, but no. I would have liked it like a like a nice angle under these under this tree. Near the tree there. What if I can get can I get rid of this? I don't know what that is. But it's sold, so yeah. Buy now. Rotate that round. Oh I don't say it's gonna go. It's not gonna go. Oh it might go there. Let's see what that's like. So we'll assemble the shed. It looks like metal base. It's all slot together, prefabricated stuff. And boards that slide in. Can't imagine this lasting very long. Haven't checked the warranty. I'll have to get the instructions in a moment. And see about that one. And there's the ridge capping and the corner pieces. And there's the roof. And obviously the doors as well. And top of that. And there we are. Does that look alright? Yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. I might place another one of these, however. Um, see, I do want to buy more of those, but it doesn't tell me what it is. Let's have a quick look. Uh, so it'll be plants and two... Oh, it's not going to be decorative grass. It's not going to be tropical or edible. I don't think it's a... Decidious tree. There's that shrub. I know some of these trees, you've got like different variations, you see. Like different. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Different colours, different strains, or whatever you want to call it. Conifers. Is it a conifer? Oh, it's definitely not. <laughs> That's a lot larger than I thought. Conifer. Mm. Again, that's that's not bad. But I'm trying to look for that one. Got some like square ones. Mm. Getting closer. What size is that? It's not bad. Let's put that. So we'll use shovel. This is the first time in the series I've actually used a shovel. So you dig a hole, like so, because you buy it in the pot. Shovel that. Looks to be a couple of times there. The hole is now dug. Put in there. You have to then obviously cover it up. And then water the plant. And there we go, planting successful. Fine, that's that's fine. Right, uh, that's covered there. Let's go ahead and, like I say, I wanted like a raised area, but I'm going to do a bit of a 
I'm going to do a bit of a test first. So over to architecture here, and I'm going to place... Um, hmm, how am I going to do this? Two tier stone ones. See, I don't know what the difference in... Th oh, right, this is the different colours. So you've got like these tier two garden stairs and tier threes. So if I had, say, for example, um, a tier three with... I don't like those. don't really like the slabs. That's nice. So with stone bricks in grey. But I, once again, I'm going to try to match it up with this. So it's like concrete-y coffee colours. Um, that's with rings. Yeah, so it's with stone brick rings. And could go with beige and sandy. No. Beige, no, that's too light. Light, no. Actually, I think that's... No, sandy, no, white, no, granite, no, no, that's, no, that's working. Oh, there we go, is that about right? Is, that would work, but, I don't know. It's definitely not the tier, tier three, though. Let's go with the rings in two steps. The beige center, and probably that. Yeah, that's fine. So how would one, for example, if I place that there, and then behind it, what would we use? Would we just use the standard rings beige in uh, what? What was it again? Was it in? Was it just in the light? So would I place it there, for example? Oh, I'd have to buy many. And can you place it on top of each other? You can place it on top of one another. Right, that is obviously a different one colour, but you can do that. So you can stack them up. And then I'm guessing we can place stuff on the top. I'm doing this as a test to see what can go on there. Um, so we'll just go over to furniture, chairs, chair, doesn't really matter. And yes, the chair would fit in there. Okay, so over to selling then. And we're going to sell all of that. And job done. And let's think of where we're going to put that. I think it's going to be pretty much in this corner. And we'll have like a quite big area. We'll leave the... I don't want to leave this hedge in. Um, I don't think I can... Well, I don't think I can sell it, so that's fine. Uh, what I want to do is move, and I want to move this. Uh, can I move it? Um, I don't think I can, actually. I could go to move. And I can only sell this, which is a shame. What else? Yeah, we can only sell it. So I guess we're going to have to have these sold. So we'll do just that. So sell, 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 and sell. That should be fine. And let's check out this two-tiered system. So this is recently purchased. It is two-tier with the rings here. And I once again go beige and to... Where is it? Light? Is it light? Or is it the white? No, it's not the white, it's not the grey. I think it's the light. Or the grey. Yeah, so we're just going to go with grey. Alright. And this is where we'll have our... We'll have an entrance, like some steps. But I guess I'll place the base first. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? So this is in architecture. And... With the rings. But the problem is the size of it. Because it's got, like, the bits going around it. So how would I lay that out. Anyway, it's this one with the rings as I'm going for. I'm going for that. And we'll have it in grey and beige by many. And we'll place it obviously on the back wall with a bit of a gap like away from that. So one, two. Why can't that go in there? That's strange. Oh, no, that is correct. That is correct, yeah. And then, is this... I'm just going to see what it looks like. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Sell. Actually, no, move. Just move it. To there. Back over to buy and many. See, it looks like it's wrong. But it is correct. I'm just going to see what this would look like as the sun goes down. Darn it! Okay, just continue on. <laughs> Although I can't really continue on. Because I now need to get that there. 
and buy many. Yes, we. That's still wrong. <laughs> okay. I think that all the way around would be nice. But I also think that right up to the edge of this is probably the way to do it. But do I want it? Would you have that? Right. Well, certainly on the back wall here, but I don't think you'd have it there because you have to get in to sort of cut that. And quite frankly, it's going to be a bit annoying to go and change, so I'm not going to do it. Right, let's continue on. So <laughs> let's go ahead and add in the, the base footprint of this. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to use it, but it's how we're using it. We have been, we have been given the tools. It's up to us to decipher exactly how you are supposed to use them. Um, that's probably as far as we need to go. Let's continue on. This is something I didn't intend to build this high, but we have the option, so we might as well. I wish it was like a copy and paste tool. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, right about now? And obviously I'll do a couple of rows and then I'll double check to make sure that the distancing is all correct. It looks correct so far, but I will... Nah, that's wrong. I could tell. And that one is wrong as well. So basically everything was correct until I started talking about messing it up and then it completely went south on me. Um, yes, that is, that is all right. That is okay. I think I want to have like an L shape. But I mean, that really doesn't matter at the moment. So, one, two. Now, see, it, you, you think it's in the right position. But you have to go and uh, try it further back. It's like trying to cook pasta. Measure what you think you're going to need. That's step one. Step two is getting the measurements wrong. Getting the unit. <laughs> getting the units wrong. I'm placing those in knowing that it's, uh, it's wrong. I'm just going to move it to the left there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And hopefully we won't get some sub we won't get subsidence on this on this area. It's also getting dark, which is very poor for working outside when there's no natural light. Sadly, the military spec night goggles have not arrived in the post. I primed it as well, so I don't know why. So we may have to be working in the night, but most likely what I'll do is I'll build this over the course of multiple episodes, and when it gets too dark, we'll just go inside and we'll work on the, the bedroom, which is, you know, not what, not what we have been doing in the past. But there you are. Finish this off, and I'll take another step back. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Rotate it round. The interesting part is where we're going to put the steps in because I haven't yet decided. Because, like I said, this will have a. At least I think it'll have a. A fence around it, but I haven't decided. I think it would look better with a fence around it. I also don't know whether this money's been spent in the right place. I don't know whether or not this is improving the value of the property or not. Um, that's quite nice. How how many wide is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's currently an eight by three. So what I'll do is make it at minimum. Hang on, Let's go back to that. I found that the best way of doing this is to offer it up like so. And make sure it goes into the red, so you haven't played, like, you know, you're getting it wrong, and it's saying, no, you can't place that, and then you come back, because then you know, categorically, that it's in the right place. I'm always starting from the left as well, I'm working back. There's no real reason, rhyme or reason for it, it's just how we're doing this. The bottom one seems quite easy to place, but the top one not so much, although... Getting a little bit of a rhythm going now. Now and again, you see we, we actually when we place it, we end up standing on it, so we sort of jar ourselves about a bit. And I think um, one more at minimum. But let's say I might I might extend it this way and have it like an L shape. 
I wonder if there's a like a jacuzzi or something in the thing. That would be nice. Hot tub. Outside, nice hot tub. I don't think you can get pools. In fact, pretty confident you can't get a pool in the game. I wonder what DLC they're planning for the game. I know there's a luxury DLC being teased, but I think it was you know, out in sometime 2021 or something. So I was thinking, well, that's a bit... That's interesting. Anyway, that's now in. I quite like the size of it, but like I say, I have a feeling that... It's a nice skyline there, getting distracted. Um, I have a feeling that it could do with maybe coming out there but it is dark we are no longer really able to work effectively so I think we're gonna work inside the property so over to the bedroom and we want to have this uh, well let's let's get this sorted so for example I'm gonna put the light on there we go that gives us a bit more room to work we have all the windows put in all of the paneling around the outside and around there because we did redo the whole property so we're gonna to have to think about the walls so something that's quite warming, um, so let's go to probably walls and to, I'll actually look at wall tiles, no not wall tiles, um, maybe wall panels and we'll see what we could put in here that's nice and warming. Well like these stripy ones which is okay, I was thinking like a an orangey type of colour although that is, yeah bit too old-fashioned a bit too opulent that is all the orange maybe something like maybe like a cream wall with one feature wall being that let's place it uh, what would the feature wall be what's well, gonna be the biggest one along along there I would assume Okay, let's just try this. Looking at it, I'm not convinced this is the way we're going to go. What I'm looking for, tiling and panelling. So I'll just place these in and see what they look like. As I said, I'm not totally convinced this is the way we're going to go, but we will try. I'm not totally hating it. It's all going to come down to the flooring and the walls. So walls, paint, copper coin. That could potentially work. That's cleaning. That's something you do after you mess the painting up. Let's try this copper coin. No, don't like it. Don't like it. Um... Light biscuit, vanilla, peach, peach, maybe, no, velvety peach, could work, mm, don't think it's going to, but could, painting, it's an improvement, but it's not much of a change, and it's not, as I said, what I was after, I'm like a, a we're looking for like a warming quite warming cream mm. sunny yellow no coffee with milk no see these are two I mean that's light cream that's gonna be too that's gonna be too cold I think but we'll we'll again we'll try it Yeah, far too cold. Far too cold looking. Does bring the wall out a bit though, which is what we're after. Calico. Let's try that. It's getting closer. But. Biscuit. Let's 
try that. Yeah, yeah, that's again getting closer. Not quite there. Vanilla. I think that's going to be too dark. Peach, we've tried velvety peach. I mean, we could go with st we could start looking at things like mandarin orange. You know, we might as well try it. Yeah. Let's try and let's just rule this out for a start, shall we? Mandarin orange. Let's rule it out. He says quite liking it. Uh, <laughs> let's go over to this. Is that a, is that a terrible decision? That's that's what I was after. I think. I think. I can't tell after using that mandarin orange. Is that the one? Is that what I wanted? Let's try. Let's just. We've got the tins. We'll use them. I might put some on one side and work the other way as well. Um. No, I think that is what we're after. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the flooring as well. And by the way, I know I'm going to forget the paints, so let's just cover. Let's just cover that base now. I know I'm going to forget the flooring uh, and the colours of these paints. Uh, over to floors and to rugs. No floor panels and coverings. That might be all right. Let's try that. Mm, too old fashioned. Well, it's not old fashioned. Just I don't like it here. Mm. Fitted carpet beige. Brown. Could try that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, are we just into. It's just brown again. The whole house is starting to just go that sort of boring colour. Um, I still want to stay away from the blues because, like I say, I think it'll be quite cold looking. That's all right, but not with that wall. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rest of the painting. I think it's just going to be a very iterative process, this one. Because I'm deliberately, again, trying to make it something a bit different. And as I've said before, this is not necessarily to my own personal tastes. But rather, trying to look at it. Sort of maybe what potential buyers may want. Which doesn't mean just go for a full landlord's... Uh, beiges and creams and magnolia... <laughs> Being the staple of the landlord, but rather maybe making a bit of a statement and giving options. I think we're just gonna run out of paint, and I'm gonna have to buy another one. Well, we might get away with it, although this wall is obviously. Yeah, I think we just might get away with it. There we go. All right, so we'll sell that. We'll sell that. That wall needs to change. None of this matches, does it really? Um, it might just have to be. Is it going to be? Do I, I am. I am actually going to go with the beige. Am I? It's a bit better. That's that wall is just not doing it. Um, we can change that to beige or to cream. Let's try that. Uh, tiling and paneling. I'll have to place that one down. And here we go. Okay, that comes together a bit better, doesn't it? Straight away. Right. Pattern all matches up, which is good. Hmm. Not entirely sold on that either. 
There's beige and yellow and brown co Oh, the brown coffee. That could be quite nice, actually, couldn't it? Um, tiling and panelling. Put that down. Because, again, it needs to be... If it's a statement wall... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the one. It, it, it was, it, this is just too similar. Whereas this one, obviously, is uh, dark, but still warming. Um, let's finish this off. You might notice there's like a couple of bits that you might think we've missed with a paint, but it's just it's just the way the lighting is. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm I'm fairly happy with that. Fairly happy with that. Where's the bed gonna go? Well, bed's probably gonna go here. I'm gonna sell that radiator pipe and stuff because we just don't have any in the property. We're gonna assume underfloor heating. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, bed in here. Actually, no, because where's the wardrobe gonna go? I think we're gonna have to place the bed there. Or if we place the bed here, the wardrobe will have to go on that side. So more likely the bed's gonna go there with the wardrobe and stuff here. Okay, we'll see. We'll see about that in the in the next episode. The sun is just starting to to rise there, so I think we will call it there for this episode. Um, actually, no, we warned because I'm going to put on before I forget the curtains because I always forget that. So it is in where is it? Doors and windows, curtains and blinds. This will be curtains, I think. Short curtains in brown stripes? No. Um, narrow curtains in brown coffee? Mm, maybe a little bit too tall. <laughs> so I'm going for short wide. No, it's uh, just the wide one and then that's in orange or brown. No. Markable short. Hmm. See, these are the curtains for like really flat ceiling windows. So I might have to just go with blinds. Dark brown. Probably. Buy many. One, two, three. And assemble. So brackets, screw them in. Near the electric drill. That's not the colour I thought it was, but it's not too bad. It's like someone's failed a colour match though when they've been sent <laughs> to go and get a particular colour. I'll put them on and stand back and see what it looks like. It might work out with them all in, you see, with all four. One just looks odd, whereas four... Four's not bad. I'll give it a not bad. 7 out of 10. You know, 3.6 Ronkin, not great, not terrible. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. This has been a fairly mixed bag, obviously, of placing in the shed and this sort of uh, seating arrangement around what we're going to say is a very heavily industrial looking seating area slash emergency entrance to the bunker and obviously we've placed in the uh, tiling over here so next episode I will add in some more like I say it's going to be in an L shape so it'll come down here and along putting the fence around it then furnish that with whatever seating hammocks actually no a hammock's probably going to go um, over there or something and then depending on how long, like, how long that takes we'll look at the uh, bedroom once again either way the sun is rising on another lovely day looks to What's that? 7 hours, 11 minutes and 53 seconds on the game so far. Not too bad at all. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. Hopefully it's been a fairly chill one for you. Comments in the comments as always and we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.